I don't know if members of the public are watching, but uh, using some of the discussion we've had with some of the other councils, 82% um, of Minnesota is white. And I don't know, I, I guess maybe I'd ask the testifier, where, where can white people be a member of this council? And I would like to sort of follow up with something um, Senator Joskowski talks about and continues to talk about. I've been in this committee now for a long time listening and I don't say anything because I don't want to provoke more arguments. Um, but I do feel like it's important to be on record to say that it is completely inappropriate and just frankly disgusting to have everything that comes before our committee that has anything to do with equity be challenged by you in a way to say, what about the 82% of white people and why aren't they being represented? It is, that's divisive, that's wrong. It's disgusting, it's dangerous. Also, I think it just completely is um, disregards the history of our state for the longest amount of time. They have been the primary decision makers. Even now, they hold the most amount of political power, own the most amount of businesses, make primarily the most amount of wealth in the state. They are well represented. So every time we talk about maybe giving a voice to other groups, it does not mean we're being divided, but that I consistently hear over and over again, what about the 82% of white people in Minnesota? That is a problematic message. 